Okay, so uh, real quick before Christmas, I want to show you guys one more card trick. This one's called Sixes and Sevens. Uh, I saw this a while ago on a Sir Reality's channel, and um, it's a really, really cool trick, so I'll link down below in the description box. Um, like I said, it's a pretty old video, but I'll link it down below where you guys can watch his tutorial as well. But I want to show you guys here on this channel. So essentially, the way you start off is you can have a spectator go ahead and then just go ahead and cut the deck in half, right? And then what you do is you have them go ahead and pick any card they want. So let's say a spectator goes ahead and picks any card. You go and pick any card. All right, so they pick a card. They're going to look at it, okay? And then at this point, what we're going to do is here, let me see. I'm going to show the camera. Okay, so this is the spectator's card, right? So let's say this, for instance, this is what you pick. All you want to do is put this somewhere in the middle of the same pack that you had before. And at this point, all you want to do is have the spectator, again, tell you when to stop. So there are cards in this packet over here. And then what you do is you take the second pile of cards, and you're just going to have them say stop whenever they feel want to, right? So we go ahead and deal out the cards. Okay, so they could have said stop anywhere. You could have also had them go deeper into the pack as well, but they happen to stop you guys right here at this card. So out of the entire deck, or the, or the top half of the deck, this is going to be the card, right? So in this case, we have a seven. Now, bear in mind, you guys picked any card you wanted to, and then uh, we also just went ahead and put it back in the middle of this deck, gave it a little bit of a shuffle, and then again, you happen to stop me anywhere and stop me at the seven, right? So we go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh card down from the top of the deck is going to be your guys' card. So if you want to learn how to do this trick, uh, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so here's how you're going to start off the trick. So it's uh, it's basically in the name. It's called six or sevens, right? You go ahead and you take out all four of these sevens as well as all four of these sixes. It's pretty simple. You just take out a total of around eight cards, um, all these sevens and all these sixes from the deck. And what you want to do, um, it doesn't necessarily matter, but you can interlace them if you want to. So you can put six, seven, six, seven, uh, six, seven, just like that. So that's not that big of a deal. Um, and it doesn't matter if they're color interlaced, you just want to have six, seven as your setup basically. And the next thing you want to do is make sure that one random card is interlacing them as well. So you take a random card, one of the sixes or sevens, another random card, one of the sixes or sevens, and then you just keep this pattern going until you are done with the cards. And what this does is give you around a 16 card buffer once you have the spectators go ahead and tell you when to stop um, counting down the cards. So you go ahead and take these cards and you should have a random card, seven random cards. So it should look like this once you have all the cards accounted for. And the top card is not going to be one of the six or sevens. It should be just a random card like that. And you go ahead, you leave that on top of the deck and then that is going to be your setup. And then what you can do in the performance, um, I didn't have the spectator cut the deck, but what you can do is have the spectator go ahead and just cut the deck from the middle anywhere they want to. Just go ahead and remember that this is going to be the pile with the sixes or sevens. So you're not going to pick up this one. You take the cards, uh, the, the packet that has all the random cards in it, and you have a spectator just pick any card from here. So you go ahead, they pick any card they want to in this case. Let's say they pick this one. Now, this is a good trick to do around um, a group or an audience where you have at least like, you know, three or four people, and this is going to give you time to misdirect them, right? So, obviously, when I'm performing the trick, it's really difficult to try to do anything where I'm kind of counting the cards off. Um, you know, a thumb break's pretty simple, but anything other than that, kind of where you have to get a, you know, a six card break, cause that's kind of what you have to do here. So, it's kind of difficult to do that without, you know, the camera picking that up, because it is right in front. But, when you have around three or four people, and they're all looking at the card, they're not going to notice you going over here and counting six cards off the top of the deck and then getting a, then getting a break. They're not going to see it. And if you're so worried, um, you can have them even try to sign the card. That way it's, you know, buy you more time. But essentially, all you got to do, you can count by threes. You take three, six, and you go ahead and get a pinky break underneath um, the top six cards of this packet. Now, let's say the spectators chose this card. They go ahead and they show this card around to everybody in the group. Sorry, go ahead and put the cards back into the packet and you don't make a big deal about saying it's going in the middle or anything you just kind of you know act like you're opening it up and putting the card in there and then shutting it so now it's going to be the seventh card down from the top of uh, the deck and then from here this is where the sixes and the sevens come into play so you go ahead and you could do a false shuffle that's what I did in the performance you can do one of those if you want to but the next step is to just take the sixes and the sevens in this packet and what you want to do is remember which cards are in which position. So you know the top card is not a six or a seven, but then you know the next card down is, and you know that's how the order repeats. So what you're thinking about is you go and you tell your spectators, tell me yes or no, or sorry, tell me to stop whenever you want to, right? And in your head you're thinking, 
um, yes or no, is that a six or a seven? So in this case, in your head, you're thinking no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. Now let's say the spectator says stop, right? And you just said yes. So that means the card that you put down on the table is gonna be a six or a seven. So now when they stopped you, you don't wanna take the next card because that's not gonna be a six or seven. So if the last card you said, uh, they said stop to was a yes, then you take it from the table, then you flip it over, and that's gonna be a seven. And what you could do is also pull the cards aside and show them, look, so if you would've stopped me one more card, it wouldn't have been the seven, or it wouldn't have been a six or, it wouldn't have been a seven, right? So that's you don't wanna let them know that you have sixes also into play. So at this point, let's say they said seven, right? You go ahead and you take one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you flip over the seventh card, that's gonna be the three, right? So you could also go ahead, let's say they stopped you when it was a no. So it goes yes, no, and they said stop here on no. You're not gonna flip it over from the table because it's not gonna be their card. You wanna flip it over from the deck now. In this case, it's gonna be a six, right? So you said, okay, so out of all the cards you could have picked, you pick the card that's over here in this pile somewhere, and then you have me to stop anywhere in this pile, and it happens to be a six. So you say, bear in mind, look, you happen to pick a six. One more card, and it would have been a two. One less card, and it would have been a ten. So let's go ahead and see where the six card is. So then from here, what you do is take one, two, three, four, five, six, and then flip it. Even though it's in the seventh, they're not going to notice. And that's going to be pretty much it for the trick, guys. Let me know how it goes. Uh, Merry Christmas to all of you, and um, as always, thanks for watching.